expansion microscopy is uh, emerging um, imaging techniques uh, that can allow you to see very fine details of the biological specimens. So basically, you will take the biological specimens and then infuse it with some chemical, just like the baby diaper materials, and then you add the pure water on these uh, chemicals, and then it will enlarge 100 times in size along with the tissues. So with normal microscopes, we will be able to see all these details, to have highly complex images and data sets, to be able to better understand this interaction. For example, in the case of TB, the microbes goes inside the cells. So to be able to see where exactly it goes, how do they interact, what are all these details, we need these new technologies. If we can use the visual reality to see these data, you will have a um, vivid impression about the, this three-dimensional data set, just like you watch a 3D movies in an IMAX 3D theater compared to watching the same thing through the TV at your home. It's a totally different experience. So just like you are sitting in a room where all the items are uh, the disease-related components, but now you can freely uh, walking around, you can freely rotate and take a look, uh, and even zoom in and zoom out, and it will allow scientists to better understand the complex interactions between the components in the biological specimen. So the next steps will be to take all these tool sets, all these techniques that we created and make it open access, available for everybody. So any labs can go, take all the protocols, take the software that we're going to create and do their own research and ask their own questions.